Hello everybody and welcome back to your favourite FIFA series on YouTube, it's Be A Goalkeeper episode 16. We have a lot to go through today. So, we won the league last episode, we won the Papa John's trophy as well, and now we're just going to go through the last 6 games of the season, which I didn't play because I didn't think they were worth it, mainly because we're not playing for anything. So I just sim my way through all of them just to get through a bit quicker, you know. I'm looking forward to the new season. Put in my transfer request, which they denied straight away, which I was kind of disappointed at. But I do not give up that easily, and we put in a few more before they finally accept it later on in the episode. But as of recording, no team has actually bid for me yet. So hopefully next episode, we'll find our next team. Now for some real big news. We are going to be in the England World Cup squad. We've only played two friendlies and no competitive games yet. But that is the team we are taking. Pretty young one to be fair. Marcus Edwards involved. We're involved. Connor Gallagher. A lot of youngsters which is good to see. Deli Ali is involved. Kane's there. Sterling. So we've got a good chance I reckon. And we also win goalkeeper of the tournament for the EFL League 2. So we're in the team of the tournament. And Jay's in there. Nombi obviously. I think Collins is there. Yeah there he is. Couldn't ask for more. And then Nombi in for the player of the tournament. And here's the stats for the end of the season. Look how close it was between Jay and Nombi all the way through. Jay absolutely performed out of his skin. And so did I. 25 clean shoots out of 45 games. Which we didn't play 6 of them. So not too bad. And that's how far we won. 104 points. Not too shabby. But now you can see my request has been accepted. Which is good. And we move on to the World Cup. And there's the group. England, Austria, Norway and China. We have a decent opportunity to get through this group. First game against Norway. Kane and Foden linking up. One, two, easy. And check out the scissor kick from Foden. Absolutely disgusting, you know. How has he pulled that one out? Kane has an opportunity of a shot. Gives a little deflection there. How quick is Foden's feet to bang that in past the keeper? 10 minutes in, 1-0. And what a great start to the tournament. You know, eases the pressure. Calms the nerves a little bit. Foden gets another opportunity to fire at the start of this tournament, you know. And again, this time to Sterling. Foden involved. He's going to be mad of the match if he carries on. Check out Odegaard running at me. He's like the Terminator. Absolutely terrifying stuff. And again, this keeper's keeping him involved. Kane goes for the audacious free kick. 34 yards out. Keeper takes it pretty easily. And we go in 1-0 in the lead. But Sterling here makes it 2, 49 minutes in. Great run, great pass. I do not have a clue where this defender's going. He kind of runs out to close the ball down, but leaves the spaces behind and Sterling just takes the opportunity. Keeper fingertips away from it, but a great finish near post there. Now the Terminator run must run in the uh, Norwegian bloodline because Haaland here runs straight at me. He gets an opportunity, passes across, and what a save by me. I'm going to give myself all the credit in the world there because it's absolutely unbelievable at the near post. We have had so many opportunities. This game should be put to bed long ago, but Norway is still in it. Get an opportunity here. He was offside, but another great save. I've not had a lot to do, but that is another one. And Kane finishes it off in the 86th minute. I don't know why he's grey. <laughs> he's he's gone grey over the season apparently. I don't blame him playing for Spurs to be fair to him. But what a finish. Left footed. Another pass. I think that's from Trent Alexander-Arnold there. And to finish it off. Sterling gets a little opportunity. And 3-0 is the final score. But we said no tie. China against England. And if we play like we did against Norway. We should absolutely walk this in. And you can see four minutes in this time. Foden once again on the score sheet early. China defensively is shocking here. All the space has left him. Keep a stretch and he's reaching for those stars. But he's better keep on reaching because he's not getting to that ball. Absolute disgusting finish. Kind of like knuckleballs it a little bit. Gets a little bit of dip. Top corner and 1-0. Can't ask for much better. Bit of chuckle brothers there from Harry Kane and Ben Chilwell. And again, they're linking up. This time, Kane on the left foot. Pretty much a carbon copy of Foden's there. Keep a stretch and no stars a long away, mate. Keep on going. China just haven't turned up early on in this game. Leaving all the space. You can't give space to Harry Kane, especially in the box. He is just not going to miss opportunities like that. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. Great start to the game. And now, still only 26 minutes into the game. Sterling gets the opportunity to run in straight to goal and... 
top bins again. We love a top bin, especially that right corner. Keeper's position is pretty poor, it leaves loads of space to the right side, but another great finish. China just need to reset themselves or get a break, but we're not given no breaks here. 42 minutes, Sterling gets the double. Great little pass to Kane, and then what a little chip for Sterling just to caress it into the goal. Easy enough. 4 0, and that's half time in China. This is the opportunity to reset, but they are just not turning up. Keeper starts to pick up the pace with his saves. I nearly make a horrendous mistake and run out. They pass the ball back and whoo, got lucky with that one. Couldn't see the goal against China, not, not the way they're playing anyway. Stop! He's already dead. Even the subs aren't wasting no time getting up to speed. Ollie Watkins coming on, could be his first touch, but what a strike again. Keepers all over the place. Dive in. I don't know what rating he is, but he's pretty poor. So 5 0, we'll just end it now, ref. Foden again going for acrobatic. I don't know how he's missed that one. That is pretty poor. And finally, it's over 5 0. Now moving on to the last game of the group stage against Austria. They've won both their games too. So it's kind of important to see who goes top of the group and we start off cracking. Marcus Edwards getting involved. We just love to score at the beginning of games here. Foden involved again to Sterling to Kane. Everyone's getting involved in Edwards with a tap in pretty much. Great play around the box. And I can tell you, you definitely notice the difference in class of players. Going from League 2 to World Cup and just look at that again. Look at the passes and Sterling with a cracking finish again. The runs and the passes have been unbelievable this whole episode. Look at it. I think it's Belling. That's Kane. Look at Come on. Threads it through two defenders. Just cracking stuff. And a long ball here. But does anyone fancy some chips? Because you're going to get one. Cheeky little chip by Foden. Keeper in no man's land. Makes the mistake. Just a nothing ball over the top. There's no one near it. And he had all the time. What is that touch? And goodbye. Look at that. Where are you going? Oh, Superman. <laughs> Even Superman was not going to reach that one. 3-0, half-time. We are just on fire at the moment. And Sterling with a strike from the edge of the box hits the crossbar. And I'm going to tell you, people weren't putting me under pressure this whole group stage. I don't know what's going on. It's the World Cup. And Watkins coming on to the sub again. 4-0 against Austria. This is going from bad to worse for him. But that is what you want from your substitutes as well. Come in, affecting the game. Look at this footwork from Edwards there. Leave the defender for dust. Pass across from Saka, I believe, and Sterling gets another goal. He's on fire. Him and Foden and Kane and Watkins, to be fair to him. Everyone up front is just performing at a peak. And there, keeper makes a decent save. And again, I think Calvin Phillips, cheeky little, like, half volley, but 5-0 again, back-to-back. -back, final one with nine points and no goals conceded. 13 scored but something weird happens here the game like lags out and we play against Wales without me knowing it's like the stage advanced but I didn't get to play it so I'm kind of happy we won but I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't get to play it I was so confused because it must have lagged when it changed season but there we are we're into the quarterfinals now against Netherlands but that will be next episode keep an eye out for that one but that's going to be it for the end of the episode I hope you did enjoy don't forget to leave a like a comment subscribe we're so close to 100 I appreciate all the support recently and yeah as always look after yourself stay safe and I'll speak to you next time goodbye